The Humminbird Mega Live Mask will help get rid of this arc that you see highlighted. This is a school of jumbo perch, and you can see that I am out at about 60 feet, and this particular school is 30 feet away and closer approximately. The arc is sometimes referred to as a double image or a reflection of the surface of the water. Anglers who switch off in between forward, down, and landscape mode may decide to not install the mask because you can still see the fish, such as the jumbo perch highlighted here. Recently, I have seen a lot of questions on the Humminbird forums about the Mega Live mask. And Humminbird includes it in the Mega Live package when you purchase it and it's an optional install. So let's see if this is going to help you or not. Humminbird says it is going to help reduce double images using a mega live mask. Here's the mask and you can see that, I'll just give you a few different angles. It's basically just a stick on piece and there are two sizes. So that's what the mask looks like. It says in number one, to determine whether to install the mask, when operating your mega live imaging transducer under certain conditions and at higher angles, 40 to 60 degrees, keep in mind that in forward mode, each click up is 10 degrees. So four clicks would be 40 and obviously six clicks would be 60 degrees. And that's in forward mode. Your sonar return may include faint double images caused by the beams bouncing off the surface of the water. If you are repeatedly experiencing double images, apply an included mask to your transducer using the following instructions. People are also reporting on the forums that the Mega Live mask is also helping reduce that arc that appears at, you know, roughly about 20 feet away and it's it's an annoying arc that I have shown you previously in the picture and hopefully this install is going to use the mask to protect what people are calling in the form reflection from the surface of above the water and that reflection is causing that arc to be seen and is distorting or getting in the way of the nice, clear, mega live image that we all want. When installing the mask, there is a video online at Humminbird that will show you, and there's a reference and to it here, and you can see the link. So the first part of the install is to determine the transducer angle you will be most frequently using. For use at 50 degrees or 60 degrees, use a long mask, 7 eighths of an inch. For use at 40 degrees, use a short mask, half inch. Now the F mark on your Mega Live is set at 40 degrees. A lot of anglers are finding the 50 and 60 degree useful for seeing your bait out at distances and especially in shallower water. The masks that are included, you'll notice that there are two different sizes and the half inch, as I mentioned earlier, is for use at 40 degrees and the longer one that you see at the top here and there's your shorter one, the longer one once again to be used at 50 to 60 degrees. I am going to be going up to a walleye tournament here this weekend, and I am going to put on the longer mask because I'm going to be fishing relatively shallow water at this time of the year, 10 feet or less. So I am going to use the mask that is the 7 8 inch because that's what it recommends and I will show you the results on the water as to how that worked out. You'll notice that there are two different angles. One's pointing this way, one's pointing the other way. So you have one is for a port side installation, depending on how you have your trolling motor oriented. 
and the other is for a starboard side installation. And I'll show you how I do it on mine when I do the install. It's very simple. It's just a peel and stick and, you know, just make sure your transducer face is clean so that your masks are going to stick. You only need to install the mask if you are going to be using the forward mode in shallower conditions. If you're using down mode or landscape mode, then understand that the mask is going to block part of the signal, so it is going to restrict some of the view. So keep that in mind. It's not a installation for everything. It's just an optional install if you are using forward mode and are having some issues with reflection or double images. Here in the install picture, you can see that the mask has a curve, so it fits in nicely, and then is squared off on the bottom. And you can see by the shape, let me just get this in the right light for you. You can see that there is the angle there, so it's going to snug in there very nicely. And this is the side that is going to be facing forward. So when I tilt this up 60 degrees, that's going to mask and block the reflection or double image. And that will give us the clearer image that we're all striving for. As you know from my previous Mega Live install and setup video, that you will have a port or starboard side installation. In my particular case, the trolling motor when it is deployed keeping in mind that this is the mega live here when it comes down it's going to be on the starboard side of the boat therefore it's a starboard side installation that is an important piece of information as it will help you designate where to put the mega live mask you can see from this angle that my Mega Down Imaging Ultrex is here. And you can see that this is where the signal is coming from on the transducer. And it is in down mode right now. So it's shooting out this way, shooting out this way, shooting out this way. When I start to click this, remember 10 degrees per click. So as I go one, two, three, four, that is now in the standard forward mode. But as I mentioned earlier, a lot of people are finding that the 50 and 60 degree is going to show your bait coming through the water better. And it is a great setting in shallower water. So I am going to be fishing shallower water and I need it to be higher. So I believe that 60 degrees is going to be the optimum range for this tournament. So I'm going to click it one, two, and now it is in 60 degree mode. When this motor is in the water, this side is going to be facing up towards the surface. And therefore, as it's facing towards the surface, it could get some of that reflection and causing that annoying arc. So I'm going to put the Mega Live mask right over here on this side, and I'll show you it from a different angle so you can see it better. I'm just going to clean this with a little rubbing alcohol right in there. Once again, that's the side that's facing up, and I'm going to let that dry. It'll evaporate very quickly, and that will give me a nice clean surface to put the mask on. The beveled edge is coming down this way. And so I just need to match up the mask and you can see that the beveled edge is correct. So therefore I am just simply going to take this and I am going to pull it out and I am going to apply it. Now you can clearly see the mask is removed and I will now put it on and I will let you see the finished product in just a second. The mask, as I said earlier, is just a peel and stick, so it is now in place. There's the squared off bottom. I still have all of this space over here, the curve. So I'm going to get lots of transducer reading from the Mega Live, yet the 
sun coming from the top is going to be blocked and any reflection from the water. So hopefully it uh, is going to give me that great clear image and I am looking forward to trying it out on the water tomorrow. Let's get an overall perspective from the beginning. So I showed you the bottom of the Mega DI Ultrax and now this is in the 60 degree mode and you can see that I have all of this area and you can see the other beveled edge that if I did a port side installation the mask would go on the opposite side. So all of this is clear transducer and as I come around you can see that there's lots of transducer signal there left for forward mode and now you get a perspective of the block where the mask is in place. The Mega Live is nice and clear right now. I don't have that old annoying shadow that went across there and that's impartial to the mask. And you can see that we've got fish all the way out here to about uh, 45, 50 feet. And you can see that there's quite a school underneath the boat right now in that 10 to 15 foot range. So great to see that the Mega Live mask is working and that is going to help those of you that have been dealing with that curve interference line. It's pretty annoying. So anyways, uh, definitely worth it when you are fishing shallower water. As you can see, I'm in shallower water, 5.2 feet, and there's definitely no heart there. So that is gone and that is great. It's definitely great not having the arc right now. It's shallow water and it, there's maybe the odd faint recollection of the arc, but uh, certainly nothing that uh, is like it used to be before. And if I scan my trolling motor, there's a weed bed over there and you see it comes up in the strands and then back here to open water. So definitely a nice clear. Here you can see a comparison between down imaging, Mega Live and 2D sonar. And you can clearly see the weeds with the Mega Live. As for the tournament, the Humminbird Mega Live, as well as my Mega 360 and other Humminbird electronics features such as your current track were all key factors in winning the Canada US Walleye Tournament. If you found the video enjoyable or helpful, a like, share, or subscribe is always appreciated. Take care and bye for now.